Okay, we are graphing an ellipse here, okay? And I know it's an ellipse because just looking at the form, you've got the x minus h squared, you've got a denominator, and you've got a plus sign here. So that's how I know it's an ellipse. So let's find the center. So it's x minus h, okay, which would make the h a negative 2 because x minus negative 2 would have given me that plus there. And then the k would be the same thing, negative 1. Okay, so my center is at negative 2, 1. Also, for the ellipse, the larger number is going to be on the axis for this one. So the larger number is underneath the y. So then I know that this is going to be going up and down. It's going to have a long um, vertical major axis here. Okay, and that's going to be my a squared, 16, which makes my a plus or minus 4. And then my b squared is going to be 4. And that's going to make my b plus or minus square root of 4, 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and put all that on the graph. So a center of negative 2, 1, or negative 2, negative 1 would be right here. And then I know it's going to be long ways, up and down. So I'm going to go up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then my minor axis, my b, would be 2. So 2 left and 2 right. So those are the points for the ellipse, and then if I go ahead and try and connect these dots, we're going to look something like this. So then if we look here, this should match ellipse D. That's the only one that actually has the correct center, so it should match right there.